Okay, so here's my FL Sun dual extruder block. And it's, uh, according to the instructions, it's complete. We'll see. Um, one thing to notice, see these screws here? It does make a difference which way you put this on because these two screws will be used for your limit switch. Then you use the same block that uh, comes in the kit for the Chimera or the Cyclops. It's got two holes on the, the bottom for your uh, hot ends. And then, of course, uh, two threaded holes on the top for your Bowden tubes. You install your hot ends so that they're a mirror image. You do want a little gap between the two heater cartridges. And ideally, um, I'll probably be coming back with a piece of Kapton tape kind of folded into a T where the sticky part will stick against the metal down here. And then come up between here and then come back down and go over here. And that will keep them from transferring heat from one uh, hot end to the other in case you're running at different temperatures. That will really throw your PID loop off. On one side, your uh, thermosistor is going to be screwed in here. On the other side, it gets screwed into here. And another good reason to have that tape in there because you don't want to read the temperature from the other block if you're running them under, at different temperatures. Uh, there are um, instructions available. I found them on a Dropbox, and uh, I'll provide the link to it in uh, the video. All right, thanks. Bye.